Well, hello. We're going to revisit an old friend. This is the Caveco Perkeo, which is a pen that years ago I dubbed as the garbage can pen. So what do I think now? Don't know. Let's find out. Oh, look. It's the garbage can pen. So yeah, when I uh, first reviewed this, I called it the garbage can pen because, as I said, it sort of reminded me of a garbage can. You know, with the green bottom, with the faceted sides, and the black lid. Uh, I just couldn't get past that. But you'll notice it's sitting on my two-pen holder. So I bought another of this model, which of course is the Caveco Perkeo. Now, put those two pens together, do you see some possibilities? So I uncap this one. Ooh, sharp. Not bad. Wait, wait. Oh, serendipity. And ew. <laughs> so that's freak nasty. But I've got this Caveco Perkeo, which is a very black pen. Um, like stealthy. Wasn't it a couple years ago stealth pens were in style? So I got a stealthy Caveco Perkeo. And you open it up, it's got a little bit of a surprise on it. And I think that's just sharp looking. So uh, the writing experience isn't bad, although I had a not so good experience today, which I'll talk about when I start writing here, but nice looking pen. So since it's hard to see the details on the black one because, you know, black screen, black background, or black pen, um, we'll look at the lighter colored one, but the, the details are the same on the black one. Uh, the reason I quit showing my desk is the slats through it. I watched a couple of my videos where you could see my legs under it and I was filming in the summer. It looked like, I, since I was wearing shorts, it looked like I wasn't wearing any pants. Which I guess I was, and I was wearing shorts, but I mean it looked like... Yeah, let's just not think about that anymore. <laughs> so we'll look at the former garbage can pen. So most of the Perkeos come in a different colored bottom and top. Usually a little better match than pink and green, but whatever. One end. This is actually a breather hole, so you, know, you could actually blow through this, so it's not an eyedropper. The other end has the traditional Caveco logo thing faceted bottom with tiny facets faceted cap no clip and one of the facets has we'll turn it this way so you can read it or do i want it the other way gosh darn it i want it this way okay sorry it, the camera records everything upside down so it's got the caveco logo uncap it they all come with a colored stripe here and a colored stripe down here. This one happens to be black. And from what I've seen, they have black nibs. Um, a triangular section. Open them up and they are either a cartridge or a converter. So this one has a con c c cartridge in it. The other one has a converter. I don't actually know what brand of cartridge because there's no brand name on it. I, I just know it's blue. So I don't even know what ink it is. The two pens write a little differently. Uh, like I said, this one disappointed me this afternoon. Disappointed! And uh, I've got a Caveco converter in it. Full of Mont Blanc black ink. Because this has been my daily writer for the last week or so. But it disappointed me. So both pens are supposed to be fine nibs. So the former garbage can pen has a uh, blue ink in it. But as you can see, it seems to write a little bit broader. Um, let's do a flex test with the blue one. So fun fact, these actually have not really flex, but they have a little bit of line variation. So that makes them kind of fun. And then the black one is the one I had some trouble with. In fact, I had trouble right as I got to the E in Perkeo, uh, where it quit writing. So I, I wrote about four pages with this pen, and all of a sudden, nope, we're done. We're just not going to write anymore. So I did the things you know you do to get the ink flowing again, and got about three lines done. And nope, we're done. We're not going to do this anymore. And 
Like I said, disappointed. But they have some line variation. This one, even though both nibs say that they're fine, this one is a little bit finer for whatever that's worth. And I was very happy with this one up until we're going to quit all of a sudden. So that's flex. Let's take a look at some wetness and flow. So as you can see, the blue one is writing along beautifully. So I may have to figure out how the nibs are attached. Maybe I'm just going to do a nibectomy. Because I much prefer how the green one writes, even though I much prefer how the black one looks. Uh, let's see, wetness and flow, smear test. Whoop! I expected that to be more smeary. And that one doesn't surprise me. Reverse writing. We'll just write the word reverse in with the reverse. This is, actually this feels a lot like writing with the black pen. Maybe a little bit finer line. And then with the black pen. Kind of scratchy and even finer yet. Um... I forgot my last test. Oh yeah, the uh, so now we get to the world famous Pierre Gustafson test, and it's not going to surprise me if the black one fails this test. So the blue one did well. Let's see what happens with the black one. There was one skip over here, but I think it was my fault. So, yeah, I kind of off screen here, pushed the nib down in a little deeper. And maybe that made the difference. All right, so uh, since this is not a first impression, let's do a quote. So I'm going to do part of the quote with one pen and part of the quote with the other pen. So I... I'm going to go to the world of Zig Ziglar, who I know the name, I just can't think why I know the name. And we'll do p the first part of the quote with the former garbage can pen, and we'll do the last part of the quote with the black pen. All right, so uh, I guess the only thing I'll mention about the writing experience is I'm not not a fan of the tripod grip section on these. I uh, the way I hold these particular two pens, it just doesn't fit right with how I hold them. Good enough pens; they 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 write decently. Just uh, just thought I'd throw that in there. So that was the garbage can pen, <laughs> the Caveco Perkeo. Um, I, I created out of the garbage can pen and a ick. I think a very nice looking black pen with a pretty cool accent. And I also created a even worse garbage can pen with a pink lid. So, uh, okay, let's set the appearance aside. Um, what do I think of the writing? The actual original garbage can pen is a pretty decent writer. I like that medium nib. Now, I'm going to be fair, the medium nib pen has been floating in my desk at school for many years. I put, uh, I needed a pen one day, and so I just snapped a cartridge in it that looked like it would fit. I don't even know if it was an actual legitimate Caveco cartridge. I doubt it because I don't really have any. Um, but whatever it was, it fit. Um, and, and then that made me think, well, what about the other one, the sharp looking one you made that you didn't really show on the channel? So I uh, had a Caveco converter, so I put that in there, filled the pen with mobile black, 
And one of the things I've discovered, I, I wrote a bunch of pages in a row, great, with the black one. Then it just stopped. And I had to shake it and get the ink down there. And uh, it was a battle. So it happened actually this morning as I record this. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to release the video. So, you know. But uh, this morning it ink starved on me again. I'm like, really? And so I unscrewed it. And you know how... Okay, here's, here's the, the section of the pen. Here's a converter. You snork it in there. Well, the ink was just staying like right where my tapping in index finger is. It wasn't going into the section at all. Now, I've had that pen problem before. I'll tell you specifically which pen. It was the Pilot Custom 823, which is a whole, whole, whole different level from the Caveco Percale. Um, so if a pen that good can have that problem, well, maybe the Percale can. So I am not sure at this point if it's the ink or if it's a problem with the pen. I honestly, when I see that problem, I lean more toward the ink. Some pen, uh, some inks just are too viscous and thick, and they don't let the bubbles bubble up through them uh, in certain pen designs. Uh, I had that pen in the Pilot Custom 823. I had that problem with uh, Noodler's Black. This, of course, is Montblanc Black. But if I'm seeing the problem... I'm thinking that's what it is. So I'm willing to bet that if I switch inks, the problem will go away. And I don't know Mont Blanc inks. I was given the bottle. The bottle wasn't even full when I was given it, so it was a used bottle. I don't know if evaporation's taken place over the years. I don't know. I just know I'm not real thrilled with the performance in the Caveco Percale. That said, I've gotten smarter. We'll pull up an empty pen here. Uh, I've learned if I just go waka, waka, waka a couple times, that gets the ink down. And, uh, you know, doing the ooh, shaky shake isn't doing it. And I am apparently not spraying ink everywhere, although I am careful to cover the end with a little bit of Kleenex when I do the waka, waka, waka thing. But, uh, you know, I can get it writing again. It, it, it goes well for a while, and then whoop, we're done. So, uh, no problem like that on the other one. But I honestly think it's a case of viscous ink. I honestly think if I put a different ink in it, the problem will go away. So, uh, I don't know when you're watching this, so... Yeah, I will try to remember around the time I release this video <laughs> to discuss it on pens in use. If I don't remember, remind me. So... Anyway, uh, overall, you know, once I did a color transplant, I got an even ickier pen and a very sharp looking pen out of two eh, looking pens. So, I guess that's a win. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.